<laughs> Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. And this week we have three stories for you. The first one is a scary one, the house bill that threatens complete DJI ban uh, everywhere in the country. We also have Airmap shutting down their business. And then the drone privacy battle is going on and going to the Michigan Supreme Court. So let's talk about all this. All right, your first story this week is one that is very concerning. Uh, a bill was introduced in the uh, US House of Representatives to ban DJI out completely. Uh, this ban would prohibit anyone from operating a DJI drone or a transmission system in the United States. Uh, the bill is extremely concerning because DJI uh, as a brand represents about half of all commercial drones uh, in the United States, uh, possibly even more than that. So please reach out to your representative and let them know that this would absolutely gut the UAS industry and public safety from using any drones to save lives, for example, uh, which is already happening in a few states and has a pretty bad effect. Now, uh, we also have included a link to the bill in the description. Uh, I invite you to go and watch the public safety news update that we posted last Monday, uh, where Brendan actually talks about this topic a little bit more at length and then the implications as well. Uh, I have no doubt that this would have an absolutely devastating effect on the UAS industry as a whole. Uh, anywhere you go at any conferences that we've been to, the amount of businesses that rely on this technology is uh, is just uh, uh, humongous. So uh, please, 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 if you have the ability, send something to your representative and let them know that this is not acceptable. All right, your second story this week is that AirMap is shutting down their Lance app. Uh, AirMap has gone through uh, ups and downs over the last couple of years. Uh, first, uh, well, they were in the news for not so good things, and then they shut down, they lost their approval to some Midlands, then they were purchased by uh, Drone Up. Drone Up kind of turned them around, and then now they are uh, shutting down their Lance approval. Now, the app in itself is not going away. We'll talk about that in a second, but uh, AirMap sent out an email this week announcing that as of June 22nd, they will cease the operation for the app and that uh, all Lance authorizations through the app have been disabled. Uh, so existing requests are still valid, but otherwise you'll need to find another Lance provider. AirMap will instead be dedicating the resources to autonomy and BV loss operation at scale, uh, which seems to be in line with what DroneUp has been doing. Uh, be sure to check out the Aloft app for a replacement, uh, Aloft uh, Air Control. Uh, they are our preferred provider, have been for a long time, and uh, I think a great company to support. So we'll keep you updated if we hear anything else from AirMap. But uh, let's move on to the final story this week, which is an ongoing battle uh, that is going on between the owners of a salvage yard and then the township. This is happening in Michigan. Uh, we talked about this a while back. Uh, the drone-related lawsuit arose when the township presented a yet another lawsuit against the salvage yard uh, using aerial photograph and then also alleging that the salvage yard had zoning violations and created a nuisance. Uh, the owners of the, of the salvage yard came back and sued the city, stating that, like every American, I have the right to be secure on my property without being watched by a government drone. Uh, unfortunately, I think the owners of the salvage yards don't realize that uh, at this stage, there is no real expectation of privacy when you are outside, whether it's from a drone, from an airplane, from whatever it is. Uh, additionally, the township argues that the police was never actually involved and that there was no unwarranted uh, search because the police wasn't involved. So uh, we'll keep you updated when uh, when we see what happens with the Michigan State Supreme Court and when they make a final decision. All right, lastly, be sure to tune in on Monday for our live Q&A that we do every two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna answer any of the questions that you have, and I'll do that over the period of an hour. Uh, every week we have a lot of questions. Uh, I always get to the end of it and uh, answered hundreds of questions, I think, throughout the entire time. So uh, come and join me. It's going to be on YouTube on this channel. And then I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.